And then Messi's going to put to Miami? No, he's not. Yeah. I don't know, dude, Messi was. Oh my God. If I'm out training every single day and I'm not enjoying it, then what am I doing? In your position, like I know like how your career's been so far, right. it's kind of like up and down. Whenever I thought of Athletic Ascent, I thought of like disappointment. So I wanted, a fresh start. You're like, I'm like, why are you trying to rebrand? I'm like, okay, that's fine. Dude, talk so, about our team. We have okay, yes. so many diverse, not diverse, but like- Yeah, yeah. all Mexicans from <laughs> <laughs> Norwegian. <laughs> There's no diversity there. Whenever I've been asked, do you really think you're gonna make it pro? My first initial thought and response is always without a doubt. This is the first episode of the Without a Doubt podcast. Um, we originally had a podcast before this, Call Athletic Ascent. Yep. Um, so for those who don't know who we are, my name is Rafael Espinoza. I play at UC Irvine right now, playing Division One college soccer. My name is Miguel. Um, I've been uh, I've been coaching lately soccer, and uh, I'm starting to post on social media. So I'm trying to become somewhat of an influencer just to uh, push, you know, personal development and stuff like that. Yeah, and then we're both co-founders of um, Without a Doubt, and then we just established a, a sick team. Um, recently, oh. so we can get into that a little bit. When was our last podcast? When did we film that? Like? It's probably when I lived. I lived in the apartment. Yeah. So it was probably like a year or two ago. Okay, so maybe even longer. I don't know. Yeah. So okay. So it's been over a year. So what have you been up to since since we filmed that last podcast? I mean, honestly, I've just been working on myself. Okay. Uh, I've always wanted to just be out there and post on social media and stuff, but I've always just been in my head. So I've just recently just been working on, you know, making myself into a better person and becoming that person that I, I want someone to um, look up to, you know? Right. So, I mean, yeah, I've been working on myself and now I'm, I'm in the point of like, not really, um, what's the word? Like, look, like taking content in, but now starting to like do. Right. Because you know, there's people who like to you know, just, just binge watch and thinking that that's like helping them. But right. Like now, more like just like consume and not like actually. Like exactly. Consume. Now I'm at a point where I'm just like, all right, bro, like you got to put it in work because yeah. I'm like, I'm not happy with my life. But ever since, like, yeah, I, this past, like, I would say like three months, I've been like going at it. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. What, that's what I've been up to. So like, what does that mean though? Like you going at it, like what are you doing? So ever since I got into coaching the high school, I've been, you know, I've been, it's getting me out of my comfort zone. And I've been able to, you know, push the message with them mm. about personal development. So now I'm at a point where like, I'm just trying to like now push it out. So like maybe with the podcast or, you know, just the content that we're going to start coming out with yeah. and without a doubt, um, I think now that's going to, I'm at a point where like, yeah, let's do it. Like, yeah, it's, right. it started like, yeah, if not now, then like when, bro? You know? Right, right, right. Yeah. What about you? Um, well, since the last podcast, I mean, it's been like... For like the past, I want to say like, well, ever since I got into college, it's been my schedule's kind of been on like repeat. It's been the same pretty much right. where it's um, training, lifting, training, and then coaching. So it's like- Damn, you would think that's like someone's that, ideal life, especially it is. to try and go pro. You know? It is, it's like, I, I love this lifestyle. That's the reason why I picked it. I haven't right. like, I, I chose coaching as like a job because it's, I didn't know I'm not going to think of it as a job. It's like, right. it's, it's enjoyable. And that's the reason why I'm like, like why I really want to like push without a doubt, because this is something I'm very passionate about. It's like just soccer in general is like a passion, like yeah, a big passion of mine. So um, yeah, for this past like year, I've just been again training and similar to you is in a sense of just like really like trying to like focus on myself. And um, I guess that's the reason why I wasn't so like motivated to do the podcast, right. our last podcast before is because I was just super, I felt like- Focus on your career, no? Yeah, exactly. Like I felt like I'm, I'm, I was adding way too much on my plate uh, during a time where I couldn't, um, couldn't commit to all of it. And it was just overwhelming me. Mm -hmm. And I felt like, I remember having like this moment of like, where I just felt like I was, I was doing too much that was affecting my performance. Right. And so that's why like I, um, I mean, that's probably, 
I know we joked around where you're like, I'm the reason why we stopped the podcast more, <laughs> but yeah, generally I, I, I do think this probably is like, I feel like. But it's understandable. Like I, I understood yeah. like. Yeah. No, it, in your position, like I know like how your career's been so far. Right. It's kind of like up and down. So I, w- I totally understand. Like I would want to just focus on that as well. Cause yeah. and it's I think, tough, it's tough mentally. Yeah. And I think yeah, honestly, it's probably the reason why I like, we stopped athletic ascent. Like, I feel yeah. like I take a lot of like, like, um, I take a lot of responsibility as to why our athletic ascent, which for people who don't know, athletic ascent was like the original without a doubt. So I take a lot of responsibility as to why we had stopped that. Yeah, I mean, be, at the same time, I could have done more as well. No, right, but I'm saying like, um, I felt like, I mean, there's there's a lot of like aspects to it. Like, I felt like we, we were treating, we, we kind of steered away from what we originally wanted it to be, which was like, you know, something to help the help the youth, help people in positions that we were in growing up, um, right. so that it can benefit them and they can, you know, help them in their career. Um, so I feel like we were kind of steering away from that a little bit when we were um, still doing athletic descent, and yeah, so yeah, so like this this past year, I just needed time to just focus on myself and focus on my on my career, my personal career, because. Uh, after college, I want to play professionally. So, of course, just, yeah. and this is my last season um, in college in this fall. So, I, like, I just want to be like, I wanted to make sure that I was doing the right thing for my career, and I felt like I was trying to tackle too many, too many things, and it just, it like, yeah, it was overwhelming. That's ultimately what it was. And now I'm in a position where I feel so comfortable with us doing this, um, because not only am I like, like I got like for a lack of better ways to say it, I, I got my shit together now, Yeah. right? This is something that I know that like I, I've always wanted to do, but I think I'm now more comfortable doing it because we have like, we have a team around us as yeah. well. Like we got Yuli, we got Miguel, and we got the boys, we got Sergio, we got Matias, we got Victor. So we got like a, like a really good team around us that I think is just gonna like, cause I feel like before we we're tackling everything on, on our own, it kind of, uh, we had Yuli's help course with the podcast uh, before but um this time around even Yuli he had like has had what did we just say you're at two and a half years now with um where Mastermind. you're at with yeah. Mastermind Media Mastermind. so like you have experience now where like you're gonna be able to elevate this way more than we could have ever so sure. I think now I'm in a position where I'm like I'm super comfortable with doing this and tackling all the other things that we want that we want to do so um, and I think also like your mindset shifted because at one point Damn, that was my train of thought. Never mind. But how did you lose your train of thought? Like <laughs> <Wait, laughs> that. Well, no, but you, your mindset shift to the point where like you're just so stressed about your your situation because you weren't ideally getting the the time that you wanted. Planning, yeah. But now you're just. I know you you talked to me before and you're just like, no, bro, I'm just gonna enjoy it. Like right. whatever comes, like I'm just. Enjoying right. It. That's the thing is like I think I'm like at a, at a, a point in my life where I'm just like I ha- I just want to enjoy life. Mm-hmm. And if I'm out training every single day and I'm not enjoying it, then what am I doing? Exactly. It, like, so like, there's no point. If I'm going and coaching and I'm not enjoying it, what am I doing? I know this, like, soccer just in general is like my passion and my love. So I know if I go and try do try something else, I'm not gonna enjoy it either. And like, I, so like, that's why I needed time to like, just like, whoa, like, let me just take a step back and really reflect on everything. And ultimately it was just like you said, like it was like the mental yeah. switch where it's like, just enjoy, dude, stop overthinking and stop stressing so much. Just enjoy the moment, yeah. enjoy the journey, enjoy the downs, the lows, enjoy it. And then the highs will come, right? right? But every, there's like, it, it, yeah. So yeah, there was definitely a, a switch. And now I'm at a point where like, I don't need to overthink this. We have a, a solid ass team around us. I don't need to overthink this. I need to just come and enjoy and do my part and then give it my all right. when it comes to my uh, what I have to do. And then I think, yeah, and another reason why I feel so comfortable not doing it is because I feel like you're in a better place too. Yeah, like I've, sure. I've, like what you were talking about, I and mean, then for people who don't know, <laughs> we're brothers. <laughs> um, um, like I've seen you, like, like your journey has, there's been moments where you have, exactly what you explained where you're just like consuming you're like you're showing me like look at this video this is that i just watched look at this course that i'm taking and this stuff like that and i'm just like yeah it's perfect but like when are you gonna take action mm-hmm. 
Because it was always, like you said, just consuming, consuming, consuming. And what are you going to do with all of that? Right? Like that's, that's kind of like, um, I wanted, I, didn't, I never really voiced that to you, but it was like something that came to my, like that was always on my mind. And I just wanted to, I was, it, you can only do so much. So I never wanted to like be like, really no, tell sure. you, I needed, I wanted you to figure that out yourself. And I think you've gotten to a point where you're like, yeah, dude, I'm like, I need to start putting in action. And that's like, and I think we've, we've taken a big step in making without a doubt now, like a, a, a an official company. Right. And I think this is like, this is like the next step to something like great. Yeah. Um, so, um, do you want to talk about why we changed the name? Well, that's what I'm going to ask you. Why you were the one who thought of the name yeah. and the, you know, the re, the re, what's it called? Rebrand. Rebranding. Yeah. Yeah. So well, why did you think of the name? Well, so athletic is like originally we wanted we thought of Athletic Sound a long time ago, and I don't know like how. 2018. I don't know how we came up with that name. I think originally I just drew up a the logo. Sick. I so drew sick. up the logo, and then we kind of just kind of went off it, and it looked like an A. Double A. It looked like a double A. So okay. we're like, okay, let's think of a name that comes with like double A, and so that's why we, some how we came up with Athletic Sound. It makes sense though. It was like. It does, yeah, like. It represented the logo very well. Right, like it was like. Ascent, like you're ascending. It looked like an arrow and, pointing up. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. So I, there was like, yeah, but I think what the reason why I wanted to rebrand was because whenever I thought of athletic ascent, I thought of like disappointment. I think there's a lot of disappointment in myself. Oh, okay, I get what you're because saying. Because I feel like I let athletic ascent down. Right. So I wanted a fresh start. Mm -hmm. And then I also thought, without a doubt, sounded sick. <laughs> so like mostly I just felt like disappointed disappointed with myself whenever I thought about it I was like ah damn I never yeah. knew that yeah well yeah dude like, I'm like why are you trying to rebrand I'm like okay that's fine <laughs> yeah cause like I don't know like I always like cause I know this is both of it's been like it's like our baby right like I thought yeah. it sounds like our baby and um and again I felt like I just let it down mm -hmm. and I don't know for me I just didn't feel comfortable going back on Instagram and be like, all right, we're back up as Athletic Ascent. We're gonna go back to what we're doing. It just it, it just felt weird because we took like a what over a year break from doing anything. Yeah, right when we we like announced our our team. And then we saw yeah, them. I don't know. It was that's what I mean. Is like just like that's like disappointment. Like I yeah. just I feel this, that's ultimately how I can sum it up. Is just disappointment with myself. Um. So when we were talking about okay we want to start things back up again i was like let me see like i want to keep the logo because the logo looks cool um but i'm trying to come up with different names i'm trying to come up with different names and i couldn't think of anything dude i remember spending so much time trying to come up with a name and i couldn't i couldn't i just couldn't come up with something i felt comfortable with but then as i was doing that i started playing around with logos a little bit and then i came up with that w that has the x in the middle do that yeah. so and then i was like and then it right away it sparked that like thought when people ask like whenever i've been asked like do you really think you're gonna make it pro my first initial thought and response is always without a doubt but it's been like that since what first like grade? since i was like a kid dude since like since yeah like, yeah like it's always been like yeah without a doubt yeah. And so now, like when I thought of that, I was like, whoa, that's sick. And then originally I was like, okay, we're still going to want to stick with Athletic Ascent. So I was like, without a doubt, apparel. Like I'm just mm -hmm. going to, I'm going to make it an apparel brand. That would be sick. Um, and then as we're going, then that's when I asked you, I'm like, what if we just made without a doubt, like the new Athletic Ascent? We just rebranded completely, start off fresh, new, we're without a doubt. Yeah. And you're, all, I think you were a little bit uh, I was opposed like, to it a little bit. But I wasn't. I was more like, yeah, like, let's do it. Yeah. I mean, to, to be honest, whenever we ever discuss something, we're, it's always positive. It's always like, yeah, like, let's try it. Yeah. Like, I've never, like, been like, nah, we should, I, I think that's a bad idea. Like, I've always, and then this is, it's me being honest, because yeah. a lot of times we, we agree on things. We, we see, I mean, we're yeah. we, we yeah. see eye to eye on, on a lot of things. Sure. And I, but I think we, we both, like, it's a good balance. I think we both can be like even like this podcast, this podcast i gave you so much pushback on it you did <laughs> i gave you so much pushback because again i was, I was like, like just think about it bro maybe down the line not now yeah <laughs> no and i know and that's why i was like that's why like i was like i gave a lot of pushback because i thought it was just gonna be us again because right. i like, just us trying to like make things work i thought it was gonna be the same thing as last time and i didn't want that to happen we were just adding a lot on our plate and not yeah. being able to do it 
But again, we fuck, we established this badass team around us. And now I feel so comfortable with like, if like, I don't know, if, I, if a crazy idea comes down the line, I feel like, we give it some thought, I'm like, okay, let's do it. Because now I'm like, I feel comfortable. I feel so yeah. comfortable with the people around us. And, but not to the point where it's like, um, I'm just gonna sit back and let know. It's like, okay, I know that if there's a big idea that we wanna do, we have a team that can help us. Dude, dude, dude talk so, about our team. We have okay, yes. so many diverse, not diverse, but like we have- Yeah, all Mexicans, <laughs> <laughs> Norwegian. <laughs> there's no diversity there. Uh, <laughs> no, but, but I mean like in terms of their stories, like yeah. we have- Victor, Yeah, no, 100%. Victor, goalkeeper, he played division three walk, walk on, right? He's a walk on, yeah. We had uh, Miguel, like now he's transitioning into like- uh, Should we the, act? Like Miguel's not in the room right now? Or? Miguel's obviously <laughs> he's helping out Yuli with, yeah. the, with the media and stuff. But yeah, he's working on that. And I mean, he's a guy that, that played Division Two, NCAA, which is, yeah. I mean, it's, it's tough. Yeah, and then he's but he came, he's in the route to go play pro right now. Exactly. So he's, he's in, yeah, he's in that perfect position. But like even that, like growing up, he, he was one of the kids that played academy. Yeah. And then, you know, things happen. But yeah, we have that, we have Matias. From Norway, you yeah. want to speak about Matthias though? Cause you know more. Yeah, and you know Norwegian, more? Norwegian Viking. Yeah, he came from Norway. I don't know what, like two. Center back. Yeah, center back. Oh yeah, Miguel, um, wing, right wing slash right back, goalkeeper. Right goal right yeah, and then um, yeah, no, uh, Matthias, center back from Norway. He uh, played in this uh, second division in Norway, um, considered like semi-pro, I, I, I guess, um, as he would put it. And then came to play college, plays with me at UCI, um, has had like. To his first year was like super successful. I would say his last year would be too, but uh, I mean, it depends on Mix who you ask. But people, yeah, yeah um, two very successful years, I would say. Um, played majority of minutes. Um, and then he's going to go on to his third year this year. So D1, D1 player, um, international. And then we got Sergio, who, um, who we're going to have on, on the next podcast. Uh, went, took the Juco route. Mm -hmm. When Juco played, uh, now is playing at Concordia and is in uh, pursuit of signing pro afterwards. Same with Matias. Um, center mid, Sergio's a center mid. So we got center back. Uh, we got- Winger uh, slash right back. We got winger slash outside back. We got center mid. We got goalkeeper. We got striker. Yeah. Like, it's like we have everything when it comes to the field. Mm -hmm. And everyone has their own, their own stories, their own- um, They're all different Their own too. journey, like yeah. You, you went from- a regular uh, club into signing with the, um, with, the with the professional team in an academy contract like that's yeah. unheard of yeah but you did it you were the first year in the west so yeah we all yeah. have different and then you played academy with pats but and then now at uci now yeah so like we all have like our different like um different stories that can be relatable to different people and um so there's there's a lot of diversity in that sense and we got yuli who's just like like again, he's been working with Mastermind Media for the past two and a half years, and his has his craft is just like improved, yeah. improved significantly. So it's like, um, yeah, we have a strong ass team behind us, and so I, I'm like, that's why I'm mean. like, I'm saying like, I'm so confident with whatever we decided we want to do, we can go and do it. Like, you know, yeah, this happens so. for a reason. I feel like all this happens for a reason. There's no yeah, like, how crazy is it that we have every single position, different stories. Yeah, like so now that like. We have, okay, we have the team behind us. We rebranded already. What, like, for you, what is that, what, what is the approach now? Like, what are you thinking? Like, I mean, with, without a doubt, what is your approach to it? I think is it the same as Athletic is saying, or, is it, or I, has it steered a little bit? I mean, it kind of is the same. I mean, the mission is still the same, you know, right. like, trying to obviously help, you know, players try to make it to the next level. But more than that is to, like, just inspire a lot of, players to make to to believe that not only like it's possible but like just life in general these these these, these lessons that we're going to try to teach them mm. they could go far with it yeah so i mean that's that's always been the mission um yeah i don't i don't see a lot of difference well, i don't know your yeah. perspective but um, if you want elaborate. no i mean like no i yeah same thing i think ultimately like um again uh changing going from athletic ascent to without a doubt it was just to change the name and logo Mm -hmm. But the, the, I think the, the, the message is the same and it's what you explained, but it's also like, for me, it's just helping people in positions that we were in, meaning the positions that we were in growing up where it's like, we don't have the help. 
we didn't right. have the guidance right and so like that goes a lot into your into your story as well where people can relate to and people can avoid now right. that if we have if we can help right like so that's what makes it like i know i don't like saying this because it's like weird but you've said it multiple times where it's like we have like just from us two, we have the path of what a lack of guidance has done and what a what guidance right. has provided. Like what, what like yeah. the two different the paths. And I feel like um, me being the younger brother, it, it's like I've benefited from it because I got to see you have my flaws. Not your flaws, <laughs> but like the yeah, just like the my route. your yeah. situations. Like right. like you tore your ACL oh, for at, sure. a, at a young age, and like so for me, and that's the thing though, and I would highly encourage anybody to to like not live in fear because yeah i ever since you were like remember I, I remember you getting your surgery and stuff like that i always feared tearing my acl <laughs> whenever people ask me like what's your biggest fear i was like oh tearing my acl yeah and then it, it happens then it happened like me right before going into my freshman year of college so don't live your life in fear i think that you're just like speaking into existence for sure that way. but um but yeah, like I got to see like your journey and how it was going and I got to be able to like, just kind of like, but not just with you, it was just like with like, all, like we have three mm-hmm. sisters. I got to see from them as well. And I'm the youngest of five. So I got to really analyze your guys' mm-hmm. life and then pick and choose what I want to, <laughs> and, and what I want to do and, and how I want to implement all that into my life. And yeah, of course I just, I was, I saw that you, you you didn't have the proper guidance throughout your recovery. Well, I didn't have guidance. Well, you had no <laughs> guidance throughout your recovery. You tried. You went solo. So I remember thinking, I need people around me to help me. So that was like like not yeah. just with like with my recovery process when I tore my ACL, but just like in soccer, like I I like or in school and stuff. Like I knew like I needed the people around me to like I needed mentors, and yeah. I and I I would seek out mentors. That's, yeah. That's why I I like. Like my coach, like Jerry, like during Slammers, like I, I took everything he would say to me, like to heart. Like I really, really t- like wanted to listen to him because I knew that I needed somebody in a position that I eventually would want to be in to like guide me. Mm-hmm. And although he wasn't holding my hand every single day or, or talking to me every single day of what I need to do, or this is how I need to get to college. No, but he like just, he would just show me right and wrong when it came to just life in general. Yeah. So, um, I would really try to find those people and try to listen to them as much as possible. And like Sika, who is like our team manager for Slammers, but then it's who I see as like a second mom to me. She just emphasized the importance of school. So it was like, to me, it always stuck with me. And I I made sure, I mean, I was always like, even before I met her, I was really wanting to do well in school. Just cause, but it was more because of like a competitive aspect of it. I always wanted to be like top of the class when it came to that. But when she emphasized it to me and how it relates back to college, if I wanted to go play college, I was like, wow, okay, so I'm like, I need to like keep this up. Yeah. I need to keep getting straight A's and stuff like that. And so, yeah, so that's, so I always like seeked mentors. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's, I want to be able to be a mentor to these kids. And I want everybody on our team to be mentors to right. these kids um, because. I think if you try to do everything solo, I think you're gonna fall short. Oh, for sure. But yeah, I think that's like probably one of the biggest like thing I took from you is that you were just independent. And I mean, it's part, it was, it's, that's just our family in general. We're like very independent people, like mm-hmm. all, all our siblings, very independent people because that's just how our parents raised us to be, um, which is a good thing. Like we should be independent, but when it comes to like, it doesn't need like, you don't need to be, I don't think you don't need, you don't need to be like afraid to seek help right. or ashamed of seeking help because no, that's the best thing you can do yeah and especially seeking help from people like i said or in positions mm-hmm. that you want to be in and i think we everybody on our team um are in positions that people want to be in for sure whether that's playing in college whether that's trying to pursue professional whether that's um trying to join a club trying to yeah just trying to play at the club level trying to you know, whatever the case may be, we were all we are all in those positions, or going to be in those positions, or have been in those positions. Mm-hmm. Um, man, even like social media, the social media, the like content creation, the 
videography. We got somebody that's in that position now and who's like striving that can open doors for right. uh, someone else. So I think like, yeah, I think um, the message is still the same. Um, it's just a, a different different title, different, different logo for that sure. I feel, I think represents it really, really well. Yeah. Um, on this podcast, because I know right now we're just recapping everything. We're kind of talking about I thought you saying without a doubt. What do you what are you thinking for future podcasts? Like uh, it's just uh, getting other people's stories. Right. You know, because uh, everyone has a story in the day. Um, and yeah, seeing how, like you said, if they if they don't seek for mentors, maybe they can find a mentor mm -hmm. through our podcast and you know reach out to those people. Right. Um, and yeah, listen to the stories. Maybe they can relate. Maybe they can get something out of it. Yeah, things like that. Um, and honestly, just getting. Getting people to, you know, listen to, listen to things that that will be positive in their lives. Right. Ultimately. Yeah. Yeah, I think like, it's definitely trying to get a, yeah like as many guests on as possible to try to like you said get their stories and, um, but I think my like what I really want to do is have our team in. So like for sure. Like our next our next episode is gonna be Sergio, um, who's playing who's like whose role is to be. Uh, is a trainer right now, uh, um, but eventually uh, add more to his play, more on like the um, online aspect of things, more on like the mental aspect of the game mm -hmm. um, as he's like getting his degree in sports psychology, which is I think is perfect. Yeah. Um, so getting his story, getting Miguel's story, Matias's story, Victor's story, shit, even Yuli, if Yuli wants to hop on as well. That'd be dumb. Getting everyone's story, you know, like trying to like, let, when people come onto our podcast, they get to really understand the team, get to like um, know, like really get to know us and see like who we are as people. Because um, I think that's one thing I've learned so much from playing is that like, it's not only how good you are, it's like how good of a person you are that allows you to like move up. Yeah. Because if you're, you're a great player, but you, you're, a shit human, you're like, no one's gonna want you. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, ultimately in this game, it's like, it's a, it's a very like, uh, I don't know how to say it. It's like, you're represent, it's like, you're just representing yourself. You're like your own business kind of thing. For sure. So um, what we want to do is help players be good humans, good people. Yeah. And then I think we have a team full of good people, which we haven't even touched on. We all, we grew up, we all grew up with each other, except Matias. Matias is foreign, you know what I mean? But, um, <laughs> right. no, but like, we all grew up with each other. So I think we can, when we have everyone on, we can touch about, like, touch on like, our upbringing and stuff like that, yeah. which I think would be cool. That'd be cool. Um, and then eventually try to get like, more like, well-known well -known, um, people online to, to hop on. Um, yeah. I think my, uh, my dream guest. Um, Prishana? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it would be Matt Sheldon. Oh, yeah. No yeah. Way. And I think it's tangible because we've trained together. I consider him a friend. Yeah. Um, I think I, dude, I hope he considers me a friend. I don't know. But, dude, uh, back then, I used to be, like, like you said, I was independent to the point uh -huh. where, like, I used to reach out to to clubs to get tryouts for myself. Mm -hmm. And I reached out to Matt. Yeah. So, we could, so you could meet and I told him your story and yeah. he agreed. No, I think that was, that was sick because I would have never thought to do that. Yeah. I mean, so I, I did that and I was, I don't, I don't even know how old I was. Yeah. It was. You were like around the time you were signing with OC. So I was 17, yeah. But we met him prior to that because we went to San Diego. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, yeah, we met him when I was 16. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. So, no, I, yeah, I think that would be cool to get him on. Um, It would have to be, there would have to be some arrangements made, but I want to like, maybe I'll that would probably be future, future, mm -hmm. future podcast, but. Um, yeah, so for those who are listening, it's just the idea is just to um, get everyone's story, try to get as many people's stories out there yeah. um, so that people can relate back to or, um, or just see a different perspective on things because everyone has a different journey. This, 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 the idea of um, there being one, one path to going pro, one path to go play in college, it's like, it's not true. It's there's many paths to do it. You can reach at different ages. Um, if you're not playing academy right now, that does not mean that you're not gonna. You can't make it. It's like there's there's so many ways to do it. Yeah. And I think everybody has 
a story that shows and proves that. Um, so yeah, I think, yeah, I think this is a perfect, perfect uh, way to end it. I think this is this is good. Um, well, quickly, do you want to just explain what we're trying to do with uh, athletic ascent? In term, I mean, not athletic ascent. Oh, without yeah. a doubt, when it comes to like our trainings and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, this year, what I, I'm I'm really, I mean, I want to like, I want to work with as many players as possible. And when I say, well, I want us to work with as many players as possible. So the entire team to work with, whether that's through privates, group sessions. Um, mentorship. online mentorship, on, online mentorship, or um, just through our social media, just like yeah, through our like through our content. I want to like impact as many athletes as possible. So I think this year, I just I want to really try to push the privates, try to push their camps. group sessions, the camp, like, like, camps, try to yeah. So now that Mentoring, like, stuff like that. yeah, now that we um, again, we have the team with us, we have we're taking the proper steps to making everything like. Um, legit yeah i think um we're trying to just be as impactful as possible i think that's what the goal is and um try to be have some fun with it i know uh, like i one of our big goals for hopefully we can hit it this year is um to have like a little street soccer tournament or uh, um because that's how we grew up playing street soccer so i think that'd be cool to just um one of the first things we do is have a little street soccer tournament um and it would even be better if we could get the facility that we used to play at growing up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of what we're doing. I I know the online coaching is probably gonna take a little bit um, yes. to set up and stuff, but ultimately, again, we don't want to just impact people um, locally. Locally, we want to like we want to hit as many people as possible all over the states, all over yeah. the world, pretty much. So without a doubt, uh, Instagram is uh, without a doubt underscore um, athletics and then my instagram is rafael espinoza dot um, x mine's miguel espinoza dot x yeah and so yeah follow us on instagram um yeah and then we're gonna push the youtube content we got some we got some cool stuff coming out so make sure you guys follow us um and just stay updated with with our journey yeah and that's it all right thanks for watching